All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and another sports trivia quiz type of video. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call it, but what I do know is the website I'm going to use. So some of you guys may have seen a previous video or two videos that I made about um, me doing a, a trivia quiz or testing my knowledge, my general knowledge in two sports, NFL and rugby. And I couldn't for the life of me find a really, really decent quiz. I've been recommended Sporkle. Sporkle? Yeah, Sporkle. Um, I'm thinking it's probably a, a play on the word of Oracle, maybe Oracle. What, what is Oracle? Oracle is something like... What is Oracle? What does Oracle mean? This is the definition of Oracle. A priest or priestess acting as a medium through whom advice or prophecy was sought from the gods in classical antiquity. Hmm, not sure. What does Sporkle mean? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Sporkle. Sporkle is a trivia quiz website launched on January 30th, 2007 on which users can... Okay. Sporkle is a trivia quiz website launched on January 30th, 2007 on which users can play and make quizzes. Here we go. Sporkle. Okay, we've got two sports obviously that I, I do really want to test myself in once again and that's NFL and rugby. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try and find something appropriate here. Categories, sports. Uh, sports subcategories. Let's go. I'm going to test myself with rugby again. I was quite disappointed with, uh, with the quiz we came up with last time. Now, what do we got? Popular today. What's the most popular rugby quiz today? Rugby positions. World Rugby Player of the Year. Popular all time rugby quizzes. Sets of three criteria. Only a true sports fan span. Only a true sports fan can get 100% on the first try. Sports groups, rugby positions, rugby World Cup winners. Multiple choice sports slideshow. We're not lying when we say this sports quiz has a little something for almost everybody. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do that. Okay. All right, a general multi-choice sports quiz. 25 questions, six minutes on the clock, and go. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is Okay, which player is Kevin Durant? Well, that's, that's number four. Which NFL footballer is John Elway? Uh, that looks like, um, what's his name? Um, Joe Willie Namath. This is Tom Brady. That is uh, someone, and I believe number three is John Elway. Oh my god, that's not, fucking hell. Wow. Alright then. Four. Got it. Which footballer is Luis Suarez? That is uh, number number three. Uh, what have we got? Which tennis player is Victoria Azarenka? That would be number four. <laughs> nope. Which NFL footballer is John Elway? I think that is number three. Nope, it's number one. Shit! Oh no. Which boxer is Floyd Mayweather Jr.? That would have to be number three. Which sprinter is Ato Boldon? Uh, it's not that guy, that's Johan Blake. This is Maurice Green, is it? Or what's his name? Uh, what's his name? I can't remember. But oh, Tyson Gay? Someone gay, is it? Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to go number one with the goggles. Got it. Which golfer is Bubba Watson? Uh, Bubba Watson is a youngish kind of guy. I believe that's number three. No? Wrong. Which cyclist is Eddie Mercicola? Well, we're going to go old school. We'll go number two. Which gymnast is Nadia? <laughs> oh my god, this really is a general, uh, general sports quiz. Uh, I'm going to go number three. Nope. Which long distance runner is 
Kenanisa Bekele. One. No. <laughs> Which ice hockey player is Alexander Ovechkin? I don't have a fucking clue. Number four. No. Which rugby player is Dan Carter? Well, I think I'll get that one. Number three. An absolute legend of New Zealand rugby. Which Formula One driver is Jensen Button? How am I going to fucking know? They've got their helmet on. Uh, Jensen Button, I think he, he races for... Um, for... Uh, well, I've really got no idea. I'm going to go number one. Which baseball player is Prince Felder? It's not Rodriguez, he's number two. I believe I'm going to say number one. No. Nah. Which MotoGP rider is Valentino Rossi? That is... Uh, I want to say number two, but I'm getting confused. I believe it could be number three. Fuck! <sighs> Which figure skater is Yim Yuna? Well, that could be any of yours. I'll say one. And there you go. Which NASCAR driver is Jimmy Johnson? Number four. Which rugby league player is Jonathan Thurston? Number four. Which cricketer is Dale Stang? Number two. A bowler for South Africa. Which swimmer is Ian Thorpe? That's also number two. A legendary Australian swimmer. Which skateboarder is Pierre-Luc Gagnon? One's got to be Tony Hawk, right? Yep, number one's Tony Hawk. Two. He's got glasses. I guess he kind of looks French. We'll go number two. No, number three. Which skier is Alberto Tomba? It's got to be the guy swigging a bottle of wine, surely. No. Number four. Which snooker player is Ronnie O'Sullivan? I know nothing about fucking snooker. I'm going to go three. No. Which Australian rules footballer is Gary Ablett Jr.? That is number two. A legendary Australian fo Australian uh, rules footballer. Which sumo wrestler is Kutushi? I'm gonna go number two. No, number three. That's it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Fifty-two percent, thirteen of twenty-five, and I have a minute left on the clock. Huh? That was fun. Let's go sports again. Popular all time. Oh, UFC would be good. UFC would be really good, actually. Um, NFL teams. NFL teams. NBA teams. Big four US sports teams. Um, what are we gonna? What are we gonna do here? Uh, general, general sports. Can you name the sports, sports terms? Hmm, this might be alright. Can you name the sports terms? Okay. Okay, this should be good. Alright. Play quiz. Um, okay. A serve that the opponent fails to touch is an ace. A method to restart play after a minor penalty or infraction in rugby is A. Um, oh my god, I should know this. A minor penalty or infraction. A scrum. <sighs> Thank god I got that. <laughs> oh. On the face-off, when a player pushes the back of his stick down on the ball in an attempt to gain control of it in lacrosse. Pushes the back of his stick down on the ball in an attempt to gain control of it. I would call that a... A reversal. <laughs> no, I'm going to... Okay, how do I... Uh, how do I... I'll give up. Okay. No! No, try again. No, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Nick, minute. At the answers. 
Okay, play quiz. All right. Ace. Yes. Scrum. Yes. On the face off. How do I how do I go forward? I give up. I want to skip. Oh my god. Really? Quiz paused. Resume. Next minute. Right, we're going to pause that and I'm going to go how to skip answer on Sporkle. Skipping a question. Maybe I'm missing something obvious, but how do you skip a question if you don't know the answer? It seems to only let me move on to the next question if I answer correctly. If you provide a link to the specific quiz, some quizzes force you to answer in a certain order, but this one is actually not one of them. You can enter the answers in any order you like. When it's a forced quiz, you will see the clue or colon above. Next minute. Oh my god. That did not help. That did not help whatsoever. When an opponent in possession of the football was tackled in his own end zone, in football, is a safety. Oh, you can, oh, okay, so you can answer any, any question at any time, okay. Alright, we've got three minutes to go, let's do this. Termination of a team's right to serve in volleyball is a turnover? No. <laughs> Gaining possession of the ball after a failed attempt to put it into the basket in basketball is a rebound. In hockey, when a player scores three goals in a single game, hat trick. Boxing. The termination of a boxing match when a boxer is declared by the referee to be unable to continue. A TKO. Technical knockout. Term for the foremost location on the starting grid awarded to the fastest qualifier. Pole. Pole position. Um, first. <laughs> The foremost location on the starting grid awarded to the fastest qualifier. Pole position with an E. <laughs> I thought it was P-O-L-L. -L. Okay, the area of baseball field where the pitcher warms up before they start pitching. Well, that'd have to be the circle. Semicircle. Um, cycling. A rider or a group of riders who have separated themselves ahead of the main pack is the uh, peloton. How do you spell peloton? How do you spell peloton? Peloton is spelled P A L L. No. How do you spell peloton? Spell. Is it the peloton? Is it? An artificial item designed to attract fish and fitted with hooks is a lure. Wrestling. Victory by holding an opponent's shoulders on the wrestling mat for a prescribed period of time is a... I have no idea. <laughs> Skiing. Bumps or mounds of hard snow on a ski slope is... A slalom. No, slalom. Um, slalom. Slalom skiing. Bumps or mounds of hard snow on a ski slope. Jump. <coughs> air. Big air. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Swimming stroke strung on the breast. Swum on the breast with both arms moving simultaneous. Eggs performing a dolphin kick. Uh, I would have to say butterfly. Skiing, bumps or mounds of hard stuff and see so. Cricket, the player who delivers the ball to be, play, to be played by a batsman is a bowler. Uh, bowling, a game with no open frames, e.g. a strike or spear in each frame, is a 300, or a clean game, they say. Surfing, the space inside a breaking wave between the lip and the face is the roll, is the something. Golf, scoring one below par, that would have to be 
a birdie and soccer, keeping control of the ball while running by tap, tapping, dragging, rolling it in front of the body is dribbling. Okay, so we've got 13 of 20. What do we got? Clamping is when you push the, the back side of the uh, lacrosse stick down. We've got a side out <laughs> for volleyball. A bullpen. Okay. In, uh, in baseball. Before he breaks out and, um, and throws that pitch. Cycling is the breakaway. Okay, I was never going to get that. Wrestling, you pin him down. Probably would have got that eventually. Skiing, the moguls. Okay, no, didn't know that one. And surfing is the barrel. Well, all right then. That's, that's, that's not too bad. I actually quite enjoyed that. That was, quite, that was really good. Um, let's do another one. Play random sports quiz. Can you name the World Cup overall top goal scorers? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> no way in hell. No way in hell. I'm going to go general sports again. Can you name the sports figures from the provided clues? Can you name the five sports related things in each of the groups below? Sports in motion. Can you name, can you name the sport being played in each brief clip? This will be fun. This will be fun. All right. Okay, let's do this. Have I got some, some sound? Um, um, times, times are, times are, are going here, mate. You gonna show me? You, you gonna, you gonna show me the video or? No? Okay. It's fine. Don't do it. Congratulations, you've played enough quizzes to unlock a better sporkle experience. Sports Spelling Bee. Can you name the names for these sports stars? Sports by Lego. Clickable Sporkle Quiz Show. Can you find the right responses for the six sports categories? It's got a rating of 4.7. Let's do this. Let's do this. 30, 30 questions. My God, what are these? Kareem of the Crop. So I need to choose which one is associated with the saying at the top. Kareem of the crop. Right responses for the six sports categories. Okay. He scored the most points? Yes. No? What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm not doing that one. Let's do this one. Can you name the sports terms. No, I've already done that one. Most popular quizzes all time. Okay. What do we got here? Sports logos. That might be a good one. Um, let's go sports logos. Can you name the sports team by their logo? Alright. That should be good. I assume it's going to be NBA and uh, NFL related, but let's play. Enter team name, alright. Steelers. AVFC, that's got to be Aston Villa. Underneath that, that looks like a, an American soccer team, so I'm going to say Galaxy. No, we'll come back to that. Uh, the Saints. We have Portland Trailblazers. Up there, what do we got? A for... A for something. Underneath, that looks like the Red Wings. Whoops! <laughs> I got that wrong! <laughs> I, thought, I thought this one here was the Red Wings, but it's not. But the Red Wings are there. Um... Well, there's the Colts, Indianapolis Colts. What's above that? Oh, I have seen that one before. Anyway, Chicago Bulls. We've got the, I believe, Detroit something. Detroit Dodgers. Is that the Dodgers? 
No, not the Dodgers. Uh, what's under that? Red Indians, which is the... Uh, is that a baseball team? <laughs> not... Indians, Cleveland Indians, there we go. Underneath that, I have no idea. Underneath that, I believe, is the Marlins, but I can't recall who they are. Are they a baseball team? Miami Marlins. Buffalo Bills. We've got the EE. Edmonton. <laughs> Underneath that, what have we got? Fox? Wolves? No. Underneath that, I have no idea. Underneath that, we've got Tottenham. Hotspur. Spurs? Is that Tottenham? No, it might be Chelsea, actually. Yeah, Chelsea. New York Yankees. We have, underneath that, I've seen that before. I've seen that before, and that is Barcelona. No, it's not. It's Real Madrid. And then we've got Arsenal. And then we have the Red Sox. And then we've got the Cowboys. And then we've got the Pacers. And the Heat. And the Timberwolves. No? Um, Grizzlies. There we go. Falcons. There we go. And the Suns. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to get here, guys. So that makes it 21 of 30. So that makes it 21 of 30. Um, not too bad. Not too good. But uh, you know what? I want to go back to rugby. Or maybe the UFC. So we're going to call it a day here. This one's going to be titled General Sports Quizzes. And I hope you enjoy. I certainly did. If you want to go on Sporkle, definitely check it out. And if you've got any recommendations for particular quizzes for me to take, definitely hit me up in the comments section below. So without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. If you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you soon. Peace out.